Magandang araw mga kaibigan. Ito si Congresswoman Margarita Migs Nograles. Yung gustong magpakan sila sa franchise ng SMNI, nako nakarma. Uh, in interview siya ni Miss Karen Davila. Eh alam naman natin ang style Davila. <laughs> Grabe pagkasupalpal pa haya. Uh, hindi niya ma-explain ang kanyang uh, grounds. Bakit niya ipakancel ang franchise ng SMNI? So, mabuhay po kayo, <laughs> Miss Karin Davila. Uh, pinaglalaban ni Miss Davila ang freedom of uh, the press, uh, information and everything. Wala talaga kahiya-hiya itong Congresswoman uh, Migs Nograles na nag-aambisyon pa naman maging mayor ng Davao City. Okay, panoorin natin itong isang vlog na pinos ng isang pro DDS vlogger. Enjoy! Matapos ngang magbidabida, magmagaling at mag-attitude sa SMNI hearing. PBA Party List Representative Mix Nograles, tila nga na karma, ipinahiyanga ng journalist na si Karen Davila. Sa one-on-one -on -one interview nga ni Nograles, ay tila hindi masyadong nakasagot at tila hindi na i-defend ni Nograles ang kanyang anti-SMNI stand at kitang-kita sa kanyang muka ang napaka-awkward ng ngiti dahil nga hindi malusutan ni Nograles ang mga katanungan ni Ms. Karen Davila. Kaya tang ending, pinagtawanan si Nograles. At the end of the day, whether you like the commentator or not, he is still protected by the Soto Law not to reveal a source. Yes. With that, do you agree? Well, lumabas po yun during the hearing and I do understand the SOTO law but there is an exception in the SOTO law that when Which it comes what? to national security, di ba po? But, but that, what makes that national security? I mean, you know, oh. I'm calling out a Ito public official niyo. regardless if it were the speaker or not yes. on trips spent. And the reason I know this is because radio commentators from mainstream media have done it with past presidents. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hindi naman sila pinatawag sa hearing. Oh, di ba? Yes po. I understand that. Because so after makes, po, I mean, on this particular end, what makes Congress the editorial chief ka. of a free press? So, okay. But with that, hindi naman po, sinabi ko naman po rin, when eh? I did the sponsorship no. speech on this. This is not a uh, oppression of the freedom of well. the press. No. But kung meron silang mga violations, they have to be accountable for that. I agree. I, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I agree. I'm not, this is not about you. Yes. This is really just as a whole. Yes. This is as a whole, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If the commentator didn't hit on the speaker, would Congress have asked If he, let's say, hit an opposition person, somebody so, irrelevant to the supermajority, yes. would Congress have come to the defense of the free well, press this, or, this or this information? Yeah. But this this stem from various resolutions, na po, no? Yeah, yeah, but And no, my answer, answer my question. Yes. <laughs> would the supermajority in Congress... Uh, as I say, I have no love lost here mm. for yes. SMNI. But this is a matter of principle. If yes. it was uh -huh. not the speaker who was hit, would congressmen have acted in the same manner? Mm -hmm. Like uh, like I said, that, so hindi lang po naman no. yun kasi yung nandun sa resolution po. Meron din pong pagkatama sa mga, may mga ibang resolutions po rin na na-file on this um, Red, uh, red tagging on this misinformation. Okay. So let's and talk about red tagging. I'm curious. The irony of this is mm -hmm. SMNI's 2019 franchise, but yes. the franchise was renewed in 2019. Yes, okay. Your brothers sponsored the franchise renewal mm -hmm. of yes. SMNI. Kapatid yes. Niya. So we're talking yes. about now Secretary Carlo Nograles when he was mm -hmm. in Congress and um, Jericho Nograles. They sponsored the SMNI oh. renewal. Yes. Didn't they spot the violations oh, before they sponsored it? <laughs> well, 
when you sponsor something oh, and then Congress does something, syempre, it's a privilege that's given, mm. right? This has nothing to do with who has authored it. Now it has to do with binigyan kayo ng privilege. You're supposed to be following. No, I agree. I have no debate on that. that is. Yes. The issue I'm asking is Walang I agree ba? with your principles completely. Mm. So it leads me to this question. Isn't franchise revocation or renewal really just used at times? It's about who sits in power. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, let me move back. I've asked this. Mm-hmm. APS situation is different in the sense yes. that yes. the franchise expired. Mm-hmm. But that was a mainstream me- media network that it could have been renewed. But the powers that be didn't want. So, ang tanong ko nga ito, if these violations have been going on, weren't these spotted by the very congressmen, one, two, your brothers, and the other colleagues you work with today? Yes. Did they well, spot this? In other during words, that time. The violations were going on, and oh, let's just renew them anyway. Oh. Well, I cannot diba? speak on behalf of <laughs> oh, the past masagot. Congress. Po. What mm-hmm. we're looking into now is that uh, there are violations that's happening. And uh, wala, yeah. po, kahit, wala po wala kung sila po, di ba, nag-sponsor po na to. At pinasa po ng past Congress. And mm. I'm not saying anything that mali yung ginawa ng past Congress to do that. It's within their right to pass it. We're looking into what's happening now, and we are seeing violations. So let's not get, maybe let's not uh, get confused here. Na iba po yung okay in the past Congress, this was renewed, yes, but right now we're looking into violations now because there are violations that we are seeing. Mm-mm. And of of the violations, Wala. what is the strongest? What mm. is the strongest violation? that would merit a revocation. Because to to comment on, he could he's wrong. Okay, clearly he, he was wrong by the facts, but that doesn't alone constitute a revocation. Because there's so many commentators that are wrong, right? Yes. It happens, yes. right? So, mm-hmm. what is the strongest and clearest violation yeah. of the franchise? Well, hindi pa po nagsisimula ang paghihear po with regard to the revocation. So, wag natin pangunahan po because that's another hearing. Uh, what we did and what we adopted is our resolution to urge NTC because of the violations, the possible violations on their franchise. So, that would be for another hearing naman po on the House bill that was filed on the revocation. And, and I think another issue for many for many people today is you have Congress now fighting against this information. But during the past administration, this information was actually it was tolerated. Oh. Hmm? I can't speak oh, to Congressman. <laughs> right. So oh. you have the same people diba? angry with this information oh. today. But it was used against journalists, mm-hmm. opposition lawmakers. This, this information was used for the past six years. It was tolerated by Congress. Oh, I know. That's the previous Congress, uh, <laughs> Ms. Karen. And I can only say Congress really man. with regard to the resolution that I felt eh. that we adopted. As per... That I, I cannot really speak on, mm, on behalf of the other congressmen and the past congress po, as much as wala po talaga, hindi, hindi, hindi po ako abogado nila. And I'm only just one vote in congress and simply, mm. dito lang po tayo sa, sa resolution ko, yeah. you know, even with a heavy heart, nagadabaw din naman po ako. Hindi mo kayo si Karen Davila. I cannot be silent naman po kung may nakikita tayo mga violations. Kaya nga po, uh, suspendin po muna natin so, huh? which is within the power of NPC at wala po kami magagawa dyan. As regard to the revocation, we have yet to see what will transpire in the hearings to come regarding mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Alright. On that
that note, I want to thank you so much thank for joining so much, today. Guys. Thank you. And thank you for being a good sport. Thank- <laughs> oh, di ba mga kasweet? Napanood din nyo kung paano gisahin ni Karen Davila itong si Mix Nograles. Buti na lamang at hindi naging uh, politically biased itong si Miss Karen Davila. Kitang kita naman sa naging interview nilang dalawa. Malinaw na malinaw as crystal clear. Nati lang ang may naganap na oppression of freedom of expression. Kasi kitang kita mo naman eh, hindi mailusot ni Mix Nograles. <laughs> hindi niya ma-defend yung kanyang... Uh, anti-SMNI stand. Yan ang napapala ng mga pabida-bida lang. <laughs> oh, eh di bumi lang sa'yo yung ginawa mo sa SMNI. Eh eto, nagkomento pa si Miss Crusette Laureta Chu, isang certified DDS, ang sabi niya, nakakahiya si Mix Nograles. She couldn't even defend her anti-SMNI stand against someone who is also anti-SMNI. Karen Davila made her look like the bumbling hypocrite that she is. And that's just Karen Davila. Diyos ko, Mix Nograles, you lay your entire career down the line. And the immortal hatred of most Davoenos for people who don't even have a political future beyond 2008. Sayang naman yung ganda mo. Sabaw ka naman pala. <laughs> So yun mga kasweet, nag-enjoy ba kayo sa napanood yung interview ni Mix Nograles <laughs> at ilang versus yata ito kay Miss Karen Davila? Ano ang inyong masasabi? Mag-comment lamang sa comment section. At kung bago ka pa lamang sa akin channel, please do subscribe para sa marami pang updates.